Well, the New York Rangers just completely just dropped the casual bomb, not even on a Monday, just, you know, it's 11.30 a.m. on a Sunday, today's Sunday, right? Yeah, it's Sunday. Uh, but maybe we will get news tied with this tomorrow. But the New York Rangers have extended Mika Zibanejad for eight years at $8.5 million per year. And me personally... I'm on the fence about this one. Now, the reason why is because of the fact that, well, one, Jack Eichel to the Rangers, that dream is over. That is not happening after this one at all. There is just no chance that it's happening at this point. So I do wonder if there is any no movement clauses in this. I actually don't see any, but it could be just because it... Uh, deal is new and everything so cat friendly has not updated it yet but uh looks like no uh the no movement clause is not in it which that would be huge if it is because we can't just have another situation like we've been having for the past decade where we have to buy out contracts over and over and over again and we can't have a situation like we had with truba and Kreider where just a year after we give them their contracts, they are not living up to it whatsoever, and it's a problem. So, me personally, I'm on the fence about this one. I do like the fact that there uh, isn't a no moving cause, possibly. There might be uh, somewhere in the deal, but uh, if there isn't, that is a massive, massive thing to have because... God forbid you're in another situation where you need to clear cap. It does open some flexibility up where Mika, I don't think you would trade him. You'd hope that you wouldn't have to trade him, but in case you do have to, you have that flexibility too. And then you look somewhere else for a different number one center, or if we miss the playoffs and somehow uh, Shane Wright falls into our hands, but uh, that's probably not happening. But, and I hope not because I want to make the fucking playoffs, but um yeah so eight years 8.5 million per and the reason why i'm mainly on the fence about this is because of the fact that yeah you have a number one center under 10 million that is pretty solid there but at the same time i don't know how i feel considering the fact that there are definitely better centers in the league but the question is were any of them possible for the rangers to acquire jack eichel obviously is the big name to talk about but if mika zibanejad could go out there and like i'm predicting win the rocket richard this deal is going to look absolutely insane and this deal is going to look like a steal right off of the rip and that would be huge i do think that mika does have still that potential to get better he's 28 he still could end up getting better somehow with age here i mean we see it around the league look at kane and taze they're they're in their mid-30s still both doing pretty solid but yeah in terms of this contract i don't know the length is definitely not ideal this will take him until he's 39 i think actually right jeez that's crazy to think about because yeah this year you have so he's here for another nine years because this also includes this year so yeah he is here until he is 39 the last two or three years of this contract might hurt and it might result in a buyout but that's where if you do have uh if this contract doesn't have a no movement clause that's where you might look to flip him now the question is going to be what is going to happen now with the second center spot? Is Ryan Strom the guy going forward? Are they going to extend him and put him on the right wing and still try to acquire a true second line center? This just, to me personally, I, I think the thing with this is that there's just not going to be so much, there's not going to be a lot of cap room going forward, obviously, because you're going to have Fox that needs to get extended after the season. You still have Strom, you're going to have Kako, who, if he does break out like we expect under uh, Gallant, that's going to be a pretty hefty contract. And then Kravtsov also after this year, 
Goche, I don't think he's going to end up costing much. And then you still have Rooney, McKegg. Those won't cost anything. Hayek, see you later. Georgiev, I don't expect him to get extended if he has another poor year. They'll probably look somewhere else for backup goaltending. But either way, they probably will, even if he does have a good year, because he's an RFA. You could flip him. And then I think that Shesterkin is obviously going to emerge as the number one goaltender. They signed him to a deal as a number one goaltender. And I think if you could get a goal backup at a cheaper price, you look to do it, but you're going to need bridge deals for most of these young guys. And it just, if this core does not work out, God forbid, it's just, what are they going to do with the limited cap flexibility to go out and address the second line center spot, which is really where I think that that's where the Rangers are going to need to improve at some point, at one point or another, they're going to have to address the second line center spot unless Ryan Strom could become a face-off wizard, then they're going to have to look somewhere else. But it just brings a lot of questions of what they are going to do there, unless they're able to somehow get Truber Kreider out of here, which it's just very unlikely until there are no trade clauses or no moving clauses become modified ones, which isn't until, I believe, the 2024 and 25 season for both of them, which is just... Yeah, the 2024-25 season, which is just not ideal. But either way, I, it is cheaper than having Eichel. It's just the term for having Eichel at that cap pit at four years versus the eight years now of Zabanajad. It kind of balances things out, I guess, a bit. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this. I'm happy Mika's staying because I do like Mika, and I think that he has that rock of a sharp potential. It's just the term of the deal that I'm not too crazy about because I just don't want us to be in another situation where we're carrying dead cap later on at the end of these deals. I just don't want that again. But we will wait and see. And I'm just worried, like I said, about the cap flexibility going forward as well. It just you don't have that much room because you got a lot of players to pay soon and it's going to be it's going to be interesting what we end up doing and then even sammy blay after this year if he has a solid year what are they going to do there it's just a lot of questions but obviously the rangers are saying that is tomorrow's problem we will worry about that later on but speaking of tomorrow Will this lead to the Rangers naming Mika Zibanej at the captain tomorrow, which is what I was talking about with the Rangers Monday thing tying together? Maybe. I personally think Kreider should be the captain still. I think that in terms of what Kreider brings, his play style, I know that inconsistency is the argument with them, but that's really not what a captain's about. A captain is someone that leads by example, that is good both on and off the ice especially with the media that is a big part and to me Kreider the way he is with the media is just far and away better than the way Mika is with the media Mika just seems like more of a quiet guy obviously we're not in the dressing room so we don't know if he is more vocal in the dressing room and it's just with the media that he's shy and more quiet but if he is like that in the dressing room I personally don't see why he would be the captain but uh at the end of the day I don't I've gotten to the point where I don't even care as much about who wears the C on their jersey. As long as this team is winning, I really do not care what ends up happening personally at this point. But let me know what you guys think about the new contract down below. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence more. I'm feeling more towards the good side of this one. I'm feeling somewhat good about this, especially after, you know, sitting here talking in front of the camera, which is why I like doing this. And you know breaking down everything like the future of the cap uh going forward for the rangers and just breaking down the deal more it just makes me feel a little bit better about it but i'm still a little on the fence about it but i'm definitely feeling better about it than i was the second it broke but like i said let me know what you guys think down below in the comments be sure also leave a like subscribe if you guys are new turn the notifications on and yeah, other than that, it's been Python. I'm out. Peace.